Hi guys and welcome to DIY Hair School and on today's video I'm going to show you one of the really quick and simple ways I like to zhuzh up my hair if I'm gonna go out and I've just kind of blow dried my hair with no product or anything and it's just like looking super flat and super lifeless and there's just no oomph because I like my hair to have some body and some movement um, and not just be pin straight like this. So this way is really, really quick and pretty easy. You do need to know how to do a flat iron curl, but you, you can do it with a wand or a curling iron if you really want to. But I do this one with a flat iron and I do have a video that you can check out here that um, goes over flat iron curls if you struggle with those. So we are going to use one Velcro roller. I like to use quite a big one and we're going to use a flat iron. I do have heat protection in my hair already and if you're going to use heat you always want to make sure you have heat protection in fact just for the sake of argument i'm gonna add more we're gonna start with the front section this is the section that was my bangs they're not really bangs anymore they're pretty grown out but we're going to take that section and I'm going to take the flat iron and I am going to take that whole section in my flat iron. And I like to start with my hand flipped over because I'm going to flip it this way. So that's just the way that's easiest for me. If I start with my hand this way, then I have to kind of like flip my hand back. So I flip my hand over. I'm going to close my flat iron. I'm going to swoop it down and I'm going to curl those ends. I'm not going to curl until I get about halfway down because I want the flip to be more towards the ends of the hair, not necessarily towards the top. So close and then flip going a moderate speed. So we get this guy here. And then while it's still hot right away, I'm going to wrap it up in my Velcro roller. We'll just leave that. And then we're just going to separate the hair into two sections over the shoulders. The idea here is that we're not going to have to do a lot of sectioning. This is supposed to be really fast and easy and we're focusing really just on the ends of every section. So you're just going to take like little chunks of the hair and we're going to take from about halfway down and you're just going to close your flat iron. Again, I like to rotate my hand. You're going to close your flat iron and you're just going to kind of flip as you go. It doesn't matter up, down, sideways. It doesn't matter. We're just creating texture and body in the hair. So we're just going to do that. And then we'll go to another chunk. I like to keep these chunks like a medium thickness, not too thick, not too thin. Um, if you do them too thick, then they just aren't you're just not going to get enough curl or flip because the heat isn't going to be able to get away all the way through the hair. But I just take medium sized chunks is how I would call it. Probably about an inch to a two inch thickness at most. So again, we're really just focusing on the ends and the mids of the hair. We're not worrying about getting up from the top. And no, this isn't going to give you a ton of volume on the top of your head. But again, this is really just meant to be a quick way to zhuzh up the hair. Like I said, it's not going to be something you do when you want max volume, max curl or anything like that. So this is just super fast, super easy, but still looks super cute. That section's a little bigger and that's why I'm going slower because if you do take a bigger section, you want to kind of slow down a little so that the heat does have the chance to penetrate all the way through the section of the hair. And now, I mean, at this point, it's probably not looking like much. You're probably tempted to go back in and do more. But like really just trust the process. And again, like this isn't something I would do when I wanted to go out and look like a 10. This is just something when I just want to look cute, but I don't want my hair to just be totally flat and boring like it was. So check that this guy is totally cool. It should be by now. So then you're just going to slide that out, flip, and there we go. That was so fast 
it looks so much better than just my pin straight flat hair. If your hair has trouble holding curl and volume and shape, I would suggest adding a little bit of dry texture spray or a light hold anti-humidity volumizing hairspray. Um, but if you're like me and you've trained your hair really well, then it probably doesn't need any of those products to hold this shape. Just the heat and the setting alone should do it. But again, you can use a little bit of those finishing products to create a little bit of hold if you need to. I hope that helps. I hope you have learned a really quick and easy way to add some life to your limp, lifeless hair if you have hair like mine. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's any content you guys would like to see. Like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos because I do post these tutorials three times a week and I do post daily on shorts or on Instagram and TikTok DIY hair school across all platforms. Thanks so much for being here with me today, guys. Bye.